trip. So we are heading to Meridian State Park. It is uh, already three o'clock. Yeah. We were at work today. We got done with work at about one. We went and picked up a car. We rented this car because uh, we're going a very long way for the next yeah. seven days. And we just would rather have a brand new car to do it with. And it was also a smart idea because our check engine light came on right when we left work. So <laughs> As we left for this trip. So uh, we put we left that car at Lydia's mom's. And now we're in our new rented car, which is very nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are going to head up to Meridian. We're going to get there after sunset to set up our camp so i don't know how the filming is gonna go yes but if at all we will definitely check in when we get there for now we're gonna hit on the road yep see you there So we've arrived at Meridian State Park. We got here in the, I mean, it's not super late. It's only no. seven, but it's dark. Uh, there's obviously nobody at the front. So they left us a nice little uh, slip of paper with their name on it that showed us where our campsite was. Uh, we are here now. We just got done setting up our tent. So now we're just kind of going to hang out in the car for a little bit before we go to sleep because it is seven o'clock. Yeah. And then tomorrow, uh, the the plan is is to hike most of the trails here in Meridian uh, in a, probably like half a day. Yeah. And then get on the road because... We are on a week-long trip to the Panhandle of Texas. We are going to go to the farthest... The state park that is the farthest north. From which us, is yeah. Paladero. So get ready for that. So we um, are starting at Meridian, and then we have another park that we're going to be at tomorrow night. And then we'll be up at Paladero, and then we're going to have another one on the way home. So big trip. Here we come. Lots of hiking. Camping night number one. Good night. I think it got a little cold last night. Good morning. We made it through the night. Uh, it was cold, but we were comfy. Thank you, Cecil, for giving us a extra layer to put on top of our air mattresses. And thank you, Haley, for the air mattress because <laughs> I needed that. Um, it worked really, really well. I will put the brand. Um, down in the description below. The best part about that air mattress is that I don't have to blow it up by mouth. It has a cool bag thing that you like get air in and squish it down. It was great. Lucky. It's great. It's probably the new way they're all done. I don't know. Awesome. Uh, other than that, we woke up this morning. A little later than we wanted to. Of course. It was 32 degrees outside and we didn't want to get I also feel out like that's a theme with us on every one of these it's videos. It's just cold and I don't want to get up because it's cold. <laughs> it's definitely my fault. Um, we are going to hike some trails mm -hmm. and uh, first we're going to do a pretty cool drive that we did last night to try to look for a cell phone signal. Uh, it looks pretty in the middle of the night, so we'll see how it looks. Uh, in the morning. Yeah, so we're going to set up the GoPro, take you guys on a quick drive, and then we'll get to hiking.
has somehow found a cat in the middle of a park. Now I have to go tell her we're not taking this cat home. We gave the cat some of our tuna fish we brought because he looked hungry and he was shivering. He's just chowing down on it. This, this is made Lydia. Y'all don't know. This is made Lydia's day. Beautiful cat. I like how they just take the whole thing. It only takes Lydia like 15 minutes and she can tame wild cats. It's ridiculous. Look at this. A couple packs of tuna. And the cat whisperer does her job. trying to figure out where your trailhead is going, look for the spray painted lines on the trees. There's two trails that follow this path for right now and then they split, but we noticed it on the other trail we hiked earlier um, that they had red marked. So whatever color the, the trail is on the map, that's what color you should look for on the trees. We're here. We just did this loop and now we're going to bump back off onto the blue loop and go around the lake.
there's a beautiful owl right there. There he is, he's looking at us. Lydia, you just saw your first owl. I've never seen one that big. We used to have an owl that lived outside our house when I was younger. But um, he was small, and he never came out. I never saw him in the daytime. So it was, it was the only owl I've ever seen, like, really in the wild. He's huge. Massive. You should tell him about the birds. Of course, yeah, like, all the other birds are going crazy and letting off all kinds of warnings and are just full of them. It was pretty dang cool. It was amazing. So far, I'm just going to say it, Meridian is really kicking butt here. They gave me a sweet, adorable kitten this morning and an owl. It was really neat to see the owl fly over there because the birds were very quiet Yes. Uh, before, but as soon as the owl landed just over up. here, all the birds started singing to each other, letting everybody know that there's a predator around. Um, the only thing that would have made that better is if we got to watch the owl try to go after something, but it was amazing. So cool. So cool. about to walk across the dam that the CCC built in the early 30s. They dug everything out, including the foundation wall, by hand, and it took them, I think, like a, two years? One year? A couple of years. It took them a very long time, so we're going to go walk across it. Okay, so we're here uh, walking across the dam, which is pretty long and straight, and uh, so far this park is pretty freaking awesome. I'm loving it. Uh, just the owl and the cat has made Lydia fall in love. Right. Uh, we are the only people out here. We've yep. seen nobody else. Granted, it's probably still about 40 degrees, but it's actually very nice weather for hiking. Mm -hmm. So far, we love this park. We're on the Bosque Trail right now, and it is, we have one, oh, there goes a deer. Anyways, we're really liking this <laughs> park right now. Really loving it. There's something about the Bosque Trail. I don't know, I was telling Billy while we were hiking that like, 
There's just something about this park that really speaks to me. I love it here. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I was really worried that coming in the winter time, maybe things wouldn't be as pretty or I don't know, but I was very wrong. It's incredible here. me was also built by the CCC and it's the refectory. So uh, this bridge behind me was built by the CCC and it actually still has the original timbers from 1934. recap so um, for me personally this park has been really nice mm -hmm. my favorite thing obviously as you will probably know was filming the owl I've seen owls before but I've never had the opportunity to try to film them and that was just the best I think it's the most impressive like wildlife we've seen so far on our little park adventures yeah. so it's been a really great day we got up hiked a trail met a really sweet kitty cat that hopefully we can help find a home for and then we hiked the next trail the bosque trail is the the one that we saw the owl on yes. and that one is beautiful gorgeous trail it's the longest trail in the park it goes all the way around the lake it's really really nice definitely my favorite i think all in all we hiked all the trails they mm -hmm. have out here which is about six miles probably somewhere in that range five to six somewhere in that range but it wasn't wasn't that bad nothing like like it's nothing that I would tell people to be worried about as far as inclines. Um, I mean, just have some... a pair of hiking shoes and enjoy. Yeah, the Bosque Trail has some ups and downs and some like pretty good stairways, but for yeah. the most part, it's it's manageable. Yeah. Other than that, the other thing that I noticed was that I didn't have to pick up a single piece of trash. Nope. I tend to pick up trash as we go along on trails because it bothers me when people are like throwing Coke cans and things out. I usually have some trash. I haven't picked up anything. Mm -mm. So it's very well maintained. The trails are very well marked. They yep. they did a very good job at that. And it's really just a beautiful park. It's definitely really nice. definitely come out and see it. And hopefully you could see an owl. Yes, I know. Ugh, so lucky. The staff has been really great. Um all of the facilities have been very clean. And really in all, it's just been a beautiful, phenomenal park. We haven't seen anybody. We have hiked every trail in this park and have not passed one single person. We camped next to one guy last night, yep. and then we saw one guy, technically we were hiking, but he's a ranger who works here, mm -hmm. so it doesn't really count. So if you come during the week, you may get really lucky and have the whole place to yourself. However, we're driving around today, and all the campsites are reserved. It is Friday, mm -hmm. so there's a good chance that this in the weekend this place is pretty, pretty, pretty busy. Yes, and obviously... There's a gorgeous lake that we haven't even mentioned once. There's a beautiful, beautiful lake. Um, I would assume in regular non-COVID times you can rent canoes, but all of that's closed right now. They're yeah. not renting any. Of course, you can bring your own if you want to get out on the water. They allow fishing, all of that. That seems to be a really big draw, too. I'm sure that's mainly why people come here, actually, mm -hmm. is for the lake. So definitely check it out if you're a lake person. We're about to get on the road. We are headed to the next park, uh, which is about another three hour drive or so. So um, that's it for Meridian. It's been really great. We hope you guys get to come and visit.